hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix battlefield 6 crashing not launching crashing at startup or crashing to desktop freezing black screen not loading or stuck on loading screen on pc so here follow the fixes first solution is to rename or delete battlefield 6 settings folder in documents to do so open file explorer Click on Documents, open Battlefield 6 open beta folder, first copy this setting folder, go to desktop and paste it, keep it as a backup, then right click on settings folder, you can either rename it and then launch the game and check or simply right click on it and delete it, now launch the game and check. Make sure before deleting the Battlefield 6 setting folder, you must create a backup of this folder to desktop or as you will lose all the save game progress. Second solution is to change exploit settings only for battlefield exe file. To do so, in windows search type windows security and open it. Click on app and browser control. Then under exploit protection click on exploit protection settings. Now go to program settings. Now click on add program to customize. Choose exact file path now go to game installation folder my game is installed in steam so go to c drive program files x86 steam folder steam app folder common folder glacier event folder now select bf6 event exe file and click on open now when you add this you will get this type of pop-up now select override system settings and make sure it is off. Again click on override system setting for this option and make sure it is off. Do the same thing for all the settings. Control flow guard make sure it is off. You have to turn everything off. If it is on then make sure it is off. Make sure everything is off but you have to click mark override system setting. It is uh, on so I have to turn it off. Make sure a validate exception chain is on so you have to turn it off. Validate heap integrity is on. Turn it off. You have to turn it everything off by checking mark override system settings in each category. Then click on apply and you have to restart your PC once after applying these changes. Click yes to allow. Now restart your PC to make the changes take effect and then launch the game and check. In future if you want to remove these settings then you can simply click on remove to set it to default. Third solution is to enable secure boot. For this fix, I have made a, another video. This is the video. Fix Battlefield 6 security violation error. Secure boot is not enabled. So link is given in the video description. And after enabling the secure boot, you can launch the game and check. Fourth solution is to modify game launch options. Try it minus DX11 or minus DX12. To do so, open Steam. Go to library, right click on battlefield 6, select properties. Now in general tab, here type minus dx11, close the tab. Now launch the game and check. If that doesn't work, then again go to properties. Now this time type minus dx12, launch the game and check. If it still does not work, then go to properties, remove this command and follow other fixes mentioned in this video. Fifth solution is to close daemon tools, uninstall interception driver, auto hotkey, DS4 windows, virtual controller etc. Close this in task manager and disable them in device manager if applicable. And then you can launch the game and check. Sixth solution is to uninstall and reinstall EA anti-cheat and uninstall any third party anti-cheat software such as Fishit anti-cheat etc. 
So to uninstall and reinstall EA anti cheat, here follow the steps. Open Steam, right click on Battlefield 6 game, select Manage Browse Local File. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now open EA anti cheat folder, right click on it and select Run as Administrator. Click Yes to allow. Now you will see this option and then click on Uninstall All. You can see Uninstall Success. Now close it and then launch the game from here. It will reinstall the EA anti cheat and your game will launch but in case if you don't see ea anti cheat in game folder then you can install ea anti cheat from ea website so go to this link it is a ea official website link is given video description now here it is given how to install ea anti cheat you can download this ea anti cheat installer and once it is uh, downloaded you can double click on this EA anti cheat installer exe file and install it on your PC and then you can launch the game and check. Seven solution is to perform a clean installation of graphic card driver. To do so, if you are having Nvidia graphic card driver then go to official website of Nvidia. If you are having AMD drivers then go to the official sites of AMD and if you are having Intel graphic card driver then go to the Intel website. Here in example, I am showing the clean installation of NVIDIA graphic card driver. To do so, go to this NVIDIA official site and once you are on this NVIDIA website, you have to do a manual driver search. In my case, I have to select my model number but in your case, you have to select your model number from here and then click on find. The latest version is 580.88. So whatever is the latest version, you have to download and install that. So click on view. Then click on download. And once this executive files gets downloaded, you have to run this exe file. So you have to run the downloaded exe file and select yes to allow and then click OK. You will see this screen click on agree and continue then here you have to select the custom option then hit next then tick mark perform a clean installation box and then click on next and after the clean installation of graphic card driver is done you can launch the game and check Eight solution is to install DirectX to do so go to this website it is the official Microsoft website download it click on download now double click on this exe file to install directx and when the installation completes then you can launch the game and check the link is given in video description for installing directx now installation is to run game as an administrator from the game installation folder or try running the game in compatibility mode to do so go to steam right click on battlefield 6 manage browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now right click on bf6 event exe file and select properties go to compatibility tab select run this program as an administrator hit apply ok and then launch the game from here and check if that doesn't work then also right click on ea anti cheat game service launcher select properties go to compatibility tab Select run this program as an administrator, hit apply, ok and then launch the game from here and check. If that doesn't work, then right click on BF6 event exe file, select properties, go to compatibility tab. Now check mark run this program in compatibility mode for, from drop down select windows 8, hit apply, ok then launch the game from here and check. If it still doesn't work, then select windows 7 hit apply ok then launch the game from here and check if it's still not working then check mark disable full screen optimization hit apply ok then launch the game from here and check now when you check mark all these boxes and still your issue is not fixed then go to compatible tab uncheck all these three boxes hit apply ok also right click on ea anti cheat game service launcher 
go to properties compatible tab and check around this program as an administrator hit apply ok and then follow other fixes mentioned in this video 10 solution is to you have to allow the game exe file in windows defender firewall and control folder access to do so in windows search type windows security and open it now click on virus and threat protection scroll down click on manage ransomware protection click on allow an app through control folder access click yes to allow click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps now go to game installation folder my game install in steam so i have to go to this pc c drive program files x86 open steam folder open steam app folder open common folder open glacier event folder now select a bf6 event exe file and click open to add it to the list now again click on add an allowed app browse all apps go to game installation folder select ea anti cheat game service launcher exe file select open to add it to the list again click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps open ea anti cheat folder click on ea anti cheat installer select it click open to add it to the list now again in window search search for window security and open it click on firewall and network protection click on allow an app through firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and browse to game installation folder open glacier event folder now select bf6 event exe file click open click on add and after adding it make sure both private and public is ticked mark then again click on allow another app browse now select ea anti cheat game service launcher exe file click open click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse open ea anti cheat folder select ea anti cheat installer exe file click open click on add and make sure both private and public is ticked mark then click on ok to save changes now you can launch the game and check your issue is fixed or not 11 solution is to run the game on dedicated graphic card driver to do so in window search search for graphic settings and open it click on add desktop app and browse to game installation folder open c drive program x86 folder open steam folder open steam apps folder open common folder open glacier event folder now select bf6 event exe file and click on add now expand it and next to gpu preference select high performance and then you can launch the game and check 12 solution is to verify the game files to do so open steam go to library right click on battlefield 6 game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files or beta files and once the verification of the files is been done you can launch the game and check 13 solution is to install visual c++ files to do so go to this microsoft official website scroll down now download x86 version as well as x64 version download both of them and once it is uh, downloaded double click on the exe file and if you see repair option then you have to repair it and if you see install option then you have to install it and after installing both s86 and x64 version of the microsoft visual plus plus files you can then launch the game and check the link is given in the description for installing visual c plus plus files 14 solution is to run ea app or steam app as an administrator so if you have game installed on ea app then run ea app as an administrator to do so right click on ea app and select run as administrator if you have game installed on steam then right click on steam app and select run as administrator and then you can launch the game and check 15 solution is to update windows to do so click on windows icon go to settings 
on the left click on windows update then click on check for updates and if there are any updates available then you can download and install them and then you can launch the game and check 16 solution is to unplug external devices such as otas pedals racing wheel razor tartarus disconnect all the additional usb adapter connected to pc disconnect additional joystick controller connected to pc if you are connected to vpn then disconnect it disable overlay close all the overlay apps such as discord nvidia amd close all the overclocking applications such as msi afterburner river tuner turn off razor synapses razor lighting effects and msi dragon center cars air software close third party services such as namic services lighting services .exe, etc from the task manager remove the underworld and then you can launch the game and check 17 solution is to uninstall and reinstall the game if none of the solution work for you then the last solution is to simply uninstall the game from your pc delete the game folder related to battlefield 6 restart your pc reinstall the game to c drive or another ssd drive if already installed in c drive and then you can launch the game and check so by this way you can fix the Battlefield 6 crashing, not launching, stuck on loading screen, freezing, black screen issue on PC. So that's all for this video. If this video helped you, then please like and subscribe to my channel, share this video and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thank you.